If you have a longer torso and shorter legs, this design will look better. And if you have a short torso and longer legs, this design will look better. So it's when you need to elongate. Be very careful where you place any embellishments. Shoes. Well, I've got a lot of shoes. I'm, I know women love shoes. But if you're going to have a lot of shoes, make sure they're different shoes for different occasions with different types of heels, all to match your scale and size. If your hair colour, see, as I said before, when you look at someone, you look at their head and you look at their feet and you bring them together. If your hair colour is the wrong colour, it will actually be the first thing you look at. Whereas when you first look at someone, it should be their eyes. And as you can see with this lady, when you look at her, you see her eyes first, then you see the rest of her face. With this lady, you see her hair first. So it's the wrong colour. And when you wear the wrong colour, it can have the opposite effect of everything I've just said and make you look older. Colour is so powerful, yet so misunderstood, very few people use it to their advantage. So I'll demonstrate again with another couple of just two other coats just to show you rather than just doing like neutral colours, I'll put some colour on. So this green, as you can see probably just by looking at me, how much it affects my eyes. So it's just a jacket, <laughs> but it's not just a jacket. It's the perfect colour jacket for me. And when you know what suits you and you have your colours done, you can walk into a shop and you can go, oh, yes, no, <laughs> save so much time. <laughs> so it's, um, it is pretty magical. This is just another one of the colours that uh, works well for myself. And I won't change my shoes, but if I wore these shoes with it, they're a little bit harder to get on. But they would then match the jacket, match my hair colour and make me look taller as well. I'm only five foot two, so... To find out if you have cool, warm or neutral undertones. Um, and then a colour swatch is given to you to take with you. And that's what you have to coordinate that wardrobe that was in the first shot. To create that balance. That is done through a body... Uh, consultation, body shape and design consultation where horizontal and vertical uh, measurements are taken and the result of that is a computerised printout of a workbook that it details everything for your particular body shape for necklines, hemlines, pockets, skirt lengths, jacket lengths and equipped with your colour swatch and your workbook, you are then able to go forth, go shopping and have a wardrobe that coordinates. <laughs>